Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with what's sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, man. We're having a day. It all of a sudden turned into a day. You know how that happens? Yes. Just on a dime. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna try to get through this pretty quickly because whoa, we have some drama going on, and we have to wrap up these pipes. Woo! All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> first thing sold a Mercari, and it is a pair of men's Lululemon. I know you're not surprised. Men's Lululemon is doing really well for us. Lululemon, men's size 36, shorts, commission, classic fit, gray, nine inch chino, back zip pocket, 30 bucks. Nice. Yeah. Love it. 30 bucks. That's right about where, I mean, the shorts go for. And most of the men's Lululemon is not very loud and proud about it does have a logo on it, but you have to really look for it. Yeah. And this one does have a side spot. Some of them don't. Just letting you know, the commission shorts are really good ones. Uh, they're soft after. 30 bucks is great. Okay. 30 next. bucks is great, especially considering, oh, 569 cost of kids. Must have been the average on an expensive yeah. thrift trip or something. Sometimes that happens. It does. Uh, we don't have a lot today, you guys. It's like 11 things or something. So don't worry. Yeah. Uh, next is. Poshmark, and these are a pair of boots from Paul Green. We love this brand. You have to be very careful when listing them, though, because they are uh, in UK sizing. Hot tip. That is the hottest of tips. Paul Green, size 8, US 5.5, UK. So the 8 is the US size. The 5.5 is the UK size. There's um, charts everywhere for this brand. But when you look at it, it will just say... Like on the bottom of these shoes, it just says five and a half. So you have to know that Paul Green is an English uh, brand. It is called Paul Green London, I believe. The full. This is a Chelsea boot. Uh, it's like an ankle length and it normally has a little heel on it. Here's what the logo looks like. And they are made of leather, made in Austria. And see, all this says is five and a half. And on the sole as well, it says five and a half. And as someone that wears a size five and a half shoe, these are not a US five and a half. <laughs> so just be really careful if you find these. Uh, these did sell for $56. And we nice. normally, yeah, cool. they normally do sell around that. Y'all, I went on a five mile walk today. Get out of here. It was 85 degrees outside and I just kept on walking in my Hello Kitty shirt. Hi, James. Hey. This, is, this is my shirt when I want to say hey, hi to James. Nine, I wear my Hello Kitty shirt. Um, okay. All right. Hey, oh, no. Wrong printer. Wrong printer. I do it all the time. <laughs> Gotta print it to the wrong to the wrong to the right printer. What is that happening? <laughs> Okay, next, we have a shirt from W by Worth. Uh, we got this in a, a lot of things. I don't normally pick up the shirt, but we listed it because it has some leather detailing. It's really a nice shirt. Yeah. W by Worth, women's size 12, top, boxy, ponty, knit, navy, faux leather, cuffs, stretch. I try to pack in as many keywords as possible in every single listing. And this sold for 20 bucks. Happy about it. Totally. I think it's really cute. Yeah. I'll show you the tag. $3.59 was yeah. our cost on that. That's from the, the van. Yep. Here it is. W by Worth. We didn't list all the W by Worth stuff that we had, uh, but some of the ones that were a little more unique or special we did. And this was one of them. Still don't have Timex. <laughs> just, We're USPS supplies just now. You know. Oh, I don't see on my coffee. Whoa. Whoa. That was almost tragic. Okay. Okay. All right. Next, we just hauled this. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is Andre by Unit. And I told, told you, and I continue to tell you, anything that looks like Johnny was, I'll buy it. I don't care the brand. I don't care. 
Andre by Unit, women's plus size 2X boho embroidered tunic top, v neck rayon blouse. It is gorgeous. It is very nice, yeah. I think this is a boutique brand, and that's all fine and well. The length of this is a tunic length for sure. And here's the label. I've seen this a lot. I find this brand a lot, but I've never found it in this style. This did sell for $20. Okay, that's it. <laughs> talk eBay has been the slowest today. We're like turned off again. I don't know what's happening. I feel like that Nora Jones song, you know, the one about turning her on. We need to sing that to eBay. Right. Don't, okay. I'm not going to sing it because I don't want to get a copyright strike, but trust me, it's running <laughs> in my head right now. All right, the first thing on eBay is this pair of Christopher Blue corduroys. Christopher Blue has been selling well, but so have corduroys. I was about to say, another corduroy. Yes. Christopher Blue women's size 14 corduroy pants, stretch charcoal gray, zip ankle. He sold for $19 plus shipping. Uh, yeah, corduroy. Uh -huh. If you got it, list it. Don't say I didn't tell you so because I'm telling you. Trying to find the Christopher Blue. There it is. It says it on the waistband. Pockets look like Christopher Blue is also embroidered on the back. I think this brand was really big in the late 90s, early 2000s. I believe that. And they <laughs> definitely have a following. All right. All right, number two. This is from <clears throat> a brand we also don't know much about. We must have gotten this in an estate situation, uh, estate sale. This is Cynthia Max, women's mm. size medium, button front sweater cardigan shacket. Shacket. Textured knit. A shacket is a shirt jacket. Okay. And this is what it looks It is very shackety. <laughs> we sold two shackets today, actually. Yeah. It's good so to be that time of year. Yeah. If it feels like heavier and you don't know whether there's a sweater or a jacket, I go with shacket. Cynthia Max, there's the tag. There's the buttons. This is really nice. It sold for 20. Oh, excuse me. It sold for 1833. So, like I said earlier, the sales aren't the best. No, but, but it's good to know what's selling. Happy to share. Nice. Got it. Okay. Next is uh, a pair of cargo pants from Chico's. Cargo pants are still selling for us. Thank you. These are, uh, let me put this on. Chico's women's size 2, US 12, large cargo pants, cotton lyosol, stretch light green. And I always like to read the title. So I know a lot of beginning resellers have problems with titles and keywords. So I try to fill in, in as much as I can. I really should have photo room some of these. Anyway, <laughs> you said the computer. Come on. I mean, you probably could have grown advantage of that. Oh, well. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Not today, say <laughs> Already sealed. All right. Uh, next, we have another pair of pants, and these are from J. Jill. These are J. Jill Indigo. Man, everything's going uh, expedited today. Nice. <clears throat> J. Jill Pure Jill Indigo Women's Size MP Medium Petite Pull-On Pants Cotton Stretch. And these sold for sixteen fifty. Not great. It came up from fourteen though. Hey, right. <laughs> I mean, when sales are slow, I'm just like, well, what are you gonna do? Some money's better than no money. That's the truth. That's a true. very insightful statement. <laughs> okay. How are we gonna pack up these? I, pipes? I really am having. Nervous I really don't anxiety know. About it. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to just wrap them. 
and take them to the UPS store. We're going to show you them. But <laughs> we don't have a box for them. We're not cut out for this. But these are one of the stragglers. And I'll print the label and I'll see what happens. Okay. Finally, the last thing to sell on eBay in the clothing department is this L.L. Bean shacket with a tiny flaw. All right, shacket. All the shackets. Right? Shacket Tuesday. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's corduroy. Imagine. It's a shirt jacket. It's a very thick shirt. L.L. Bean, women's size large, green corduroy, button-down top, layer, shacket, tiny flaw. I believe there's a stain on this. We'll go through the pictures and yeah, see. Yeah, there's a little spot or something. If it's L.L. Bean and it's, oh, it's a sun sunspot. If it's L.L. Bean and it's a shacket, I'm going to pick it up every time. Uh, this was had a, even with the tiny flaw, it had a lot of interest on all the platforms. Yep. And it ended up selling for twenty five forty six. dollars yeah, That's decent. Yeah, even with the flaw. Yeah. So I don't go out of my way to pick up things with flaws. And in fact, I'm sure we didn't know this had a flaw when we picked it up, but we sold it anyway because we knew there was some money to be made. All right. Okay. And finally is the OEM Kawasaki muffler pipes for 2011 VN 1700 Voyager Vulcan KAW <laughs> something slight rust. <laughs> we have a, oh here we go here's the pipes. yeah here's the pipes nice set of pipes thank you here it is uh these pipes <laughs> sold for 152 dollars and 97 cents and we don't know how we're gonna ship them they're huge it's fine uh-huh yeah it's they're, fine they're we're fine great. everybody they're, they're great don't worry about us not even one little bit we are fine are we fine? here's one <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. This is the easy one. Are you going to wrap them separately? I think I'm going to wrap them separately, and then... So what we're going to do is wrap these, <laughs> and then he's going to print the label, because he like overestimated it, and he weighed it, and then we're going to take it to the UPS store, and then be like, I'm going to be like, help. help. <laughs> Please help us. We did charge a lot for shipping on these. We did. We charged 50 bucks for shipping. 50 yeah. So that's shipping and handling. <laughs> Okay. Um, you want to just like yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this. Perfect. For those of you that are old school subscribers, you're welcome. We used to this, just kind of crap all the time. This one's for you, right? <laughs> you thought you'd never get to see this, like Dan wrapping up a TV. Remember we used to do TVs? Oh, uh, TVs. Were, VCRs. Were, oh, VCRs were terrible. Terrible. But this is meant to go on the outside of a motorcycle. What is this bubble wrap even gonna do? <laughs> Gonna, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's gonna stop her from dinging into it, from dinging into each other. Quit playing with your dinghy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See the extra shipping we charge on us. I think we're gonna get a little money back. It's gonna pay for this whole wrap of bubble. Yeah. I mean whole <laughs> roll. Whole roll of bubble wrap. <laughs> That's what you meant to say. That's what I meant. Okay. Looks like a torpedo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, I believe we got these at an auction. <laughs> yeah, Dan, definitely got these at an online auction. Dan was online auctioning, <laughs> au au I say aux auctioning, and yeah. he had a little bit of an issue buying stuff for a minute. <laughs> 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 he was buying the most random stuff. Like, why? I'm not sure what the cost of goods are on the pipes. Yeah. They're like a dollar. They're like super. They were seriously. Yeah, oh, so you dollar. just bid because like <laughs> yeah, no one is gonna buy these. Nobody's gonna. This is this <laughs> is the one that's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that has to stay on there. <laughs> yeah, man, that's part of it. You can't. That doesn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> Somebody's probably probably gonna return this, and we're not gonna take the return. And they know it. This is because oh. this this is what people be doing <laughs> ebay motors is this ebay motors <laughs> yeah guaranteed to fit <laughs> definitely <can. laughs> don't take out the computer <laughs> oh my god don't take out me i gotta back up this thing is ridiculous <laughs> i know uh oh hey. <laughs> Opa. Uh. <laughs> okay i'm gonna need you to like tear like, oh. here, like here and then we'll come back around in a second. Oh. Uh-oh. 
You tore it. You done did it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we have bubble wrap on this. I don't know what would happen. It would be terrible without bubble wrap. What if? Yeah. You show up all, <laughs> <laughs> all dented. <laughs> oh, but it's going to show up dented in any way. <laughs> Oh my god, the UPS store is going to put like a million packing peanuts. That's their MO every time. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. I should, should I ask them if I could sell them? <laughs> yeah, why not? Don't hit yourself in the face. <laughs> Good call. That was... I know. Could you see it happening? Yes, in slow motion. <laughs> Not sponsored by bubble wrap people. <laughs> Letting you know. I was like, do we need to phone this? Dan was like, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Some tape. We don't need tape. We're gonna stretch that. I know, but I need this. Is, this one needs some tape. All right, this this needs a little bit more. But here, I got a pocket. Oh, a pocket! Look at this pocket. I'm gonna put a pocket on this end. <laughs> Perfect. And you can just use a little thing. Like a glove. <laughs> yeah. You got this. Great. Everything's great. See, this is going to be the issue. The professional motorcycle parts sellers right now are like, what are you doing? I know. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. That's, that's, that's half the fun of it. God's honest truth. Oh. Oh, you're getting the big boy. Big boy. I don't know how to help you. Um, I can roll this. Like, hold it like this. I don't know if that. Oh, okay, hold this for just a second, and let me. <laughs> nervous for us. Put those here. This is why we don't sell this stuff anymore. Exactly right. Yes. You're seeing it here. Okay. That looks good. Huh? Okay. You can just slide this guy yeah, down. Yeah, you just slide him a little bit. Slide it. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> right. Whoa. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Yep. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. My hips don't <laughs> lie. <laughs> Good thing I was working out today. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Go. Yes. Yes. Oh, great. Oh, wait. Hold on. My hand is a uh, shrink wrap. Hold oh. on. Oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> we got this. Ow. It's all good. Oh, there you go. Look at that technique. Baby, yep. it's a boy. We, you, you know, I'm just tempted to suck the label directly out of this. That's probably what they're going to do at the UPS. No. Look, there's still <laughs> an open end over here. We need some tape right Should here. Should we need bubble wrap it again? I don't know. It's pretty and, solid I, in there. I mean, what is, what is this going to do? No, I don't like it's it. Like this, I, no, no, I don't like it. That's like the smallest piece of tape. Oh. Ever. I see. <laughs> There we go. This is a Christmas hand. <laughs> it looks like a phantom limb, like a wow, it looks like a foot. <laughs> like a prosthetic. This town is a prosthetic leg. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Bundle of joy for a Kawasaki Vulcan owner. 
Uh, this is going to be dimensional shipping, which is why we're taking it to UPS and not the post office. Yeah, because no, so, no, 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 no. <laughs> For if you're curious, I have I input the weight and the dimensions in the listing when I when I listed these. I put it at forty pounds and forty inches by eighteen by ten. You know, which is way overshot on the length. And 18 inches would be about here. So eh, I think what that would be like 40. Okay, we'll measure it. And we're at 30. Oh, this, I this see. This whole thing is like a 36. Okay. Or 30, yeah, right at 36. Why does it look like a leg? <laughs> it, I, sir, I promise you it's not a leg. I can't. Promise. Film it. Um, so if I wanted to mail this priority mail, it'd be 115 bucks. Uh, UPS. $36 and 13 cents. Yes. So thank you so much, UPS. We'd like to thank UPS <laughs> for letting us mail our pipes. Yes. Okay, so Dan's gonna print a label here because if you do it at the store, it's way more expense. Yes. He could he okay, this is what we've done before. You could pirate ship it at the store and then have them print it. You pay 10 cents or something. We've done it. Mm -hmm. We pirate ship it right there in front of them, and they're uh -huh. like, "Can you print? Can, how much to print?" And they're like, 10 cents." So you then you print it, and then you're like, oh, "Can I borrow some tape to tape it?" And they're like, "No," and they have to buy a whole roll of tape. So if you do that, bring tape. Yeah, that's how we got our California bins purchases back home. We're gonna buy that box, and then can you print this label for me? Thanks at the UPS store. Awkward. Uh, okay, I think I'm ready. I was about to do my hair. So everything's flat rate, right? Uh, padded is the first one. Flat rate, padded. And then flat rate envelope. And then flat rate envelope. Flat rate envelope. Envelope. Flat rate envelope. Envelope. Padded. Padded, and then UPS, forty pounds. Yeah. Do have you weighed it? I weighed each pipe individually earlier. <laughs> and they were it came out to like 25 pounds total it was like 11 and 10 12 or something like that. <laughs> follow us for quality reselling content <laughs> we know what we're doing promise sometimes we don't today totally. we do not we have not a <laughs> this is why we sell clothes that is a true statement Okay. Ah. Labels going. Scan form. First up is, where we go? There it is. 10982. 10683. Those are close. No. Sounding anyway. Oh, that's oh. fun. It's going to be fine. 11360. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Ripped it. Can't tell. See? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> one one three a one. Oh, there it goes again. See, it's fine. You just cover it with the label. <laughs> one one four six eight. And the pipes. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna run all this stuff to the post office. Stop by the UPS store. <laughs> uh, maybe there'll be some footage there. I'm not sure. And then uh, we'll talk profits. Stick around. Jeremy, is it tree time? P picnic. Oh, stretch it out, buddy. Very, very close up. Sorry about that. Picnic, come say hi. Good girl. All right. You ready for your treats? I'll get them for you. Okay. Bye. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Made it back.
UPS okay. was uh, anticlimactic. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I mean, they charged me for the box that I had to buy that would fit the pipes. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, seventeen bucks. Oh, I got to put that in our books. I didn't. I don't. Have I have the receipt out of the car. Okay. So uh, with the forty nine ninety nine we charged for shipping, we're probably losing like a buck or two. Okay. Or thirty. So it'll be all right. We're good. We're good uh all right let's see how we did for the day right yeah come on day give us 300. okay it's close close yeah close? i like that i like being close uh yeah let's look <laughs> at the month because we should i think we're down for the month but not too bad okay let's see month to date we should be at what 2100 yeah yeah a couple so hundred or a couple of hundred behind goal but but two thousand dollars almost in seven days yeah that's good that's really good yeah it's better than it's been for the past couple of months for sure yeah and like i said yesterday i hope it's a sign of improvement well it's been really slow today <laughs> i'm just letting you know like there's been no offers i could send out. this morning was swinging i woke up and i could send out 20 something offers nice but then nothing all day and <clears throat> And while you were gone, I was logged out of eBay. Okay. And I had to log back in twice. Fun, but we sold something, right? Yes. So yeah. does that happen to you guys? Like when your eBay is really bad and then it like perma logs you out and you have to log back in like a million times and then eBay starts working again. That's kind of what happened while you were gone. Interesting. So I'm thinking our eBay, well, it sucks because I listed 30 things. And on days like this, this is me speculating. You think those 30 things are just going to go into the ether? They're gone. You, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're in our store, but they didn't, something was not jiving. So I might relist them. But it'll be really fast if on you to do that. You, just... you can bulk do that on Vendu. Sweet. So I might just go through the 30 things I did today and just straight up relist them right now. Yeah. Now that it's working again, mm -hmm. we don't know this for sure. Just no, it's guessing. a feeling. But, yeah, you gotta go with your gut. Gotta go with your gut. Yep. Yep. All, All right. right. Thanks for hanging out, everybody, and we'll see you back here uh, tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.